Yes, 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 yes. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here again. You know, America really is filled with a lot of hate. A lot of hate. And it's not really, really real hate. It's just something that's been propagandized. It's been created out of hate for a reason of hate. It's sad. You know, I just did this post, if I were God, what i do. And I keep thinking about all of the things that I keep hearing people talk about every day. Every day. Oh, man. Hold up. Yes. And as I think about those things that uh, people are doing here in America, I watch, and I, I watch the Republicans speak. You think the Republicans just hate or they just represent the ugliness of a society. And I say that because that's the way it feels to this side of society. I'm sure to them it feels like it's the thing to do because they probably feel that this society is making them feel like this. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I hear people in politics over there in Washington right now. They're talking about taking money and uh, what the debt. Making sure that uh, they raise that. And at the same time, they want to cut things that benefit the poor. They want to move those who are homeless out in the field somewhere uh, or put them in some kind of camp. <laughs> Till I'm not going to even describe what they want to do. I got a better plan. Now, I'm not asking you to take it. I'm just saying it's a better plan. And you can contrast it with what they are offering you and you can make a decision or keep on doing whatever you're going to do. But the thing that I would recommend is that as, as I look at all the resources that belong, that came from God that's making them or came from somebody, some other power, not us, that might have the name of Amoco, might have the name of Standard, might have the name, any, any name, ownership, what represents really theft of the American people. But it's what you call a legalized theft in many instances. Many instances, they have set up a system that says we will uh, permit this and we will permit this. You know, like we will permit black people to have a voice or we won't, we'll take it back. See, that's what do you call it? Black people can have a voice today, but we'll take it back tomorrow. Or we'll own the resources that God, that the, that's been put in for everybody, and we will determine what's what. And then as we do our thing, you see people laying in the streets, no houses, no, you know. So what I would do, I would suggest that all of the resources that people got their names on, they take their names off. And all, all the resources belong to the people. Some people might want to call that nationalism. I don't care what you call it, but it means that these resources will be used for the benefit of the American people. Not only that, I heard somebody start trying to say, well, we're going to make sure that people got jobs. And, uh, and I agree with that, and, but, but I want to go a little bit further. I want to make sure that everybody got a job. But not I want to make sure they just got a job, but I want them to choose a job that gives them their greatest joy. Let them have some happiness getting up in the morning time going to work or going to work at night. Have some thrills in their lives. All of them. And I want them to have such a wonderful time because what they're going to be doing is going to be creating houses, food and clothing, education and health care, transportation and infrastructure, planes and all these kinds of things. That's what they're going to be spending their time making all of the things we can imagine that would be beneficial for any of us at any moment in time when we might want to experience it. That's what I would recommend. And it won't be no billionaires walking around here trying to act like he's something. Oh, that doesn't mean you won't be able to go to the moon or go somewhere else in the galaxies. You will definitely be able to do that because we would have progressed to that level. But you won't be the only one. The people that used to sleep on the street that didn't have a place to stay under the garbage cans and stuff, they'll be able to do that too. And they don't have to feel ashamed because they'll be equal to anybody else in the society. So if I had my way, if I had to talk to you, the people, this is what I would be telling you to represent America in such a way that I believe that every last one of you would be happy except the racist, bigots, haters, 
that want to control others and replace God. Now, they'll be mad as hell. And they ain't supposed to be mad as hell because they sure ain't going to get no foot in this heaven. What you think about it? All right, respond.